Ooh, there was an earthquake in Haiti. I don't know any Haitians, except for maybe that guy from Heroes who could erase your memories. I hope he's okay. Fictional characters aside, a lot of people have been injured or killed. I heard on a radio station that uh, people speculate the body count could reach at least half a million. That's a lot of people. And everybody seems to care. Uh, humanitarian groups are popping out all over the place to lend a helping hand. Isn't that wonderful? That make you feel good to be a part of something big? Like the reconstruction of a destroyed place. Why do people do that? I was thinking about that earthquake in Haiti today, and it got me thinking about 9-11, the Columbine shooting, and a plethora of other tragedies in which a lot of people died. The psychology of this baffles me. I mean, it really does. Tragedies bring people together. They remind us all how fragile we are, and that we need to be taken care of. And when a tragedy happens, a lot of people will do a lot of things to help. Tragedies tend to bring out the best in people. I asked my dad a few minutes ago if he thought it was possible for people to be brought together in unity without a tragedy. He told me it was, but he couldn't give an example off the top of his head. All he said was, anything's possible. So here's my question for all of you, and I want you to leave me a comment or a video response. Preferably a video response. Is it possible to bring people together, to get people to care about one another, without a horrible tragedy having to occur?